To truly utilize the power of time value of money, we need to understand an annuity. Annuity occurs when you have a fixed payment with a specified period of regular periods. So let's break that down. What does that mean? Well, there's three criteria. It's fixed. In other words, the dollars are the same every time. So $100, it's specific. It's known in advance. So for the next 10 years, it's regular. It's monthly, it's annually, whatever. So if I invest $100 a month per year for 10, sorry, $100 per month for 10 years, that qualifies as an annuity because it meets all three. And then we can use the payment key. We see examples of annuity in life all the time. The two most common that we're going to look at are investments and lending. So throughout your life, hopefully you're going to make some investments and you're very likely going to borrow money to buy a house or a car or other things. So those are generally examples of annuities. So let's consider a problem. Let's say we have $1,200 a year, so we're going to invest $100 a month or $1,200 a year over the course of 40 years at 7%. Now in this example, we will assume that we just do it annually. Slightly different answer if you do it monthly, but close enough for the time being. So you're investing $1,200 a year for 40 years, 7%. So let's consider, does that meet the definition of an annuity? It's a fixed amount, $1,200. It's specific periods every year and the period is specified in advance. It is going to be for 40 years. So where do we start? Always write out the variables. So my N is 40 years. My I is 7%. N and I are a great place to often start because they're the most easily understood present value it doesn't comment it doesn't say I'm starting with anything so I'm gonna assume it's zero and that's generally what you do if it doesn't specify how do I know that this isn't a present value or a future value I see per any same time you see per or Lee you could be dealing with an annuity so per month per year annually monthly if it's recurring present value is one time what you start with future value one time what you end with in this case, it's $1,200, and I'm solving for how much money I'll have someday. So let me bring up my calculator. So I'm going to say I have 40 years, 7%, zero for my present value, 1200 for my payment. Now, we have to consider direction of cash flow. In this question, it'll work either way, but there will be questions when it won't. So if I'm the investor and I'm investing $1,200 every year, that money's coming out of my bank account. It's money that I cannot otherwise spend. So I'm going to make that $1,200 a negative. I'm going to make that $1,200 a negative. It's money that's coming out of my bank account, going into my investment. So that's my payment. And now I can compute future value. Wow, investing $100 a month, I could have a quarter of a million dollars someday just by taking enough time and getting a decent interest rate.